You know, repetition, repetition, repetition. Whenever you see something done once, if you see it done another time, you get, you learn that much more, okay? So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set this up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna set this up. I might, I might set it up kind of over, over like that. Oh, I'm getting the sun right out through there. I'm gonna undo this one now, same way. It takes quite the small little process to remove the, um, the innards, the inside portion, uh, the entire slide out tray. And on a different video series, I'll show you that. It's just, I got going, I had somebody coming to help me, and I had to get them out quick. So I had to take the trim off, and I did a couple, a couple other things to it as well, and then it was ready, the insert was ready to be pulled out. And I did that just before I started this video series. Okay, I, I like to put two screws here. There's, there's four holes here, there's four over here, there's three up here. I usually do the top and bottom one here on both sides and one up in the middle. You know, when I get ready to install it, and I use sheetrock screws, and um, these happen to be galvanized inch and five eight sheetrock screws is what I ended up using. Uh, you can use regular sheetrock screws, you know, the black ones, but if you do, just know that eventually they're probably going to rust out, right? Okay, so what am I going to do next? Yep, my sheetrock knife. Score this all the way around. I do go down, I don't like to go to the bottom because it's like, yeah, I'll be careful, I'll be careful, and then oops, and then right over the trim. That's the last thing you want to do, okay? See, once I get it going, I can kind of pull on this, and then it helps me break off some of it, depending how thick the, the caulking is, how old the caulking is, you know that, okay? taking both hands so I can kind of push it up in there harder uh, and I just do a little bit at a time back and forth and that keeps digging in a little bit more a little bit more Let's see I can push it up there I can go back this way uh, try to hold your blade just right if, if you get it up at too much of an angle and then you try to do it you could break the tip off that's not the worst thing that's gonna happen but it does, you can get another blade out. Okay. Just keep the camera, just keep it rolling. Looks like I know what I'm doing, huh? See, sometimes this bottom piece, like I say, has a rail that comes down. And you'll know it when you try to pull and you say, what's going on? You can just reach your head in there, look, and that's where you're going to pry that up. I didn't know that for a while. Ooh. <laughs> I just saw a gecko over there. He jumped off the palm tree and he landed right over here. Just keep walking it back and forth. I'm trying to get it over the, the bottom, the outside trim. And I just have to kind of work on it a little. Comes. I got it over that. <laughs> this one's giving me a little bit of a headache, but hey, just take your time with it. There, there. Ooh, I almost pulled it out too far. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Voila! That's your next step. See there? Two air conditioners almost ready. Now, what do I have to do next? That's right, I've got to clean off all that caulking around there, make sure it's ready for the next one. Don't try to put your new one in because it's gonna hit the old caulking and then 
you're not going to have as much caulking on there anyways when you make your new bead. Okay? First things first, step by step. You can do it. Yeah. I like my little step stool and I like the one with the wider steps. The thinner ones, I hate those. I get my, my feet tired and sometimes I have a hard time balancing on them and stuff. Okay? That's, I used to do, like I said, I used to do this all off a six foot ladder, then I have to move the ladder back and forth, back, back and forth, and all that. Now, see, I'm plenty, I'm plenty high on here. Okay, now I'm gonna get this caulking off. Like that. See, it's kind of thick at the bottom, so you can, you can do a, one pass and then come back and clean it up. Because you might think, okay, I'm going to just do, go straight. I don't have to do that. And then all of a sudden, you're digging deeper and deeper into the wood trim. That's a no-no. Okay. Now I can come back the outside a little bit. Gently get off a little bit of the excess. And then that'll be filled back up when I put the new caulking on. All right. Okay, see I'm starting to hit the wood. I go up instead of down right there. I can go this way. And come here and go up that way right there. Now the top. Get your little inside corners out of there. And the top I had up nice and tight, so I didn't wasn't much caulking up there, but there was enough. And see, I'm noticing this trim's just a little bit loose, but once I put the housing in, as long as it's down tight, um, hopefully I won't have to put a nail in it or anything. And then once I caulk this, when the caulking dries, it's not going anywhere. You know, the trim's not going to go anywhere because the caulking is going to hold the trim. All right, Tio. Joe. Oh. This one's got a little bit of extra buildup because it was close to the wall here. It was hard for the last person to caulk it in. But you don't really see that as much. Okay. And I'm still going to take off a little best I can here and that's all you can do just do the best you can work with what you got okay looking at that everything looks good I'm ready for the next one here's my little weather stripping and I might might use that again but for the time being I'm going to take it out so that you don't get confused by the process okay there 